I'm a fan of hollow chain sitting on a rainbow. Got this heart around my finger. What a world. What a life. It's a dev pulse. I've got a song that I sing. I can make my heart go anytime I move my finger. Lucky me, can't you see I hollow heart? <laughs> see it? One second here. I don't know what happened to. Um, there we go. There we go. Apparently, I just kind of went off into the ether there for a second there. Um, welcome to the Crypto Truth. I give you the truth as I see it. This is an exciting dev pulse because actually, um, I would probably have to say this is going to be my favorite dev pulse. I read a little bit and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to talk about it. You guys know how I do my dev pulses. You guys know how I do every article. I read every article word for word and obviously I will interrupt at times. So, and I'll definitely let you know when I do that. So now we're looking at Dev Pulse. I believe it's 96. I'm not quite sure. Yep, yep, yep. It's 96. It says it's closer than it appears by Paul Doust, my best friend. We hang out all the time. No, I'm kidding. I, I have no idea. Um, I've never hung out with a guy. He seems like a very nice guy. Does very good for um, Hollow. Um, and, and, and that's awesome. So this was on the 7th of May. All right. It says... You know those words you see on a car side mirror that say objects in a mirror are closer than they appear? In spite of that warning, it's always a bit surprising when a car comes zooming past out of the blue when you thought it was way back in the distance. I had that sort of experience yesterday morning during my weekly check-in with Alistar with, from the Hollow Hosting dev team. He was practically bouncing in his seat. The reason for his excitement in his words was that Hollow is ready. Alistar normally brings a critical analytical mind to his work. He ought to. He's an engineer. So when I saw him get excited, I knew there was a good reason for it. Let me tell you something. Yes, when engineers get excited, you probably should be excited as well. Before you get too excited, though, Holo isn't going to be in beta tomorrow. He simply meant that it's finally time to start testing the entire hosting and routing infrastructure. There have been some big milestones in the past half year, that's not a lie, but the next milestone, Hosted Element Chat, is the one that brings all of the pieces together. It depends on Holochain, the Envoy service, and cha Chaperone Browser Library, I'll get to them in a bit, networking plumbing to help host reliability punch through, some, uh, through home firewalls, including a proxy server, a registration flow to get hosts onto its network, onto the network, the resolver service, a matchmaker that connects web users to hosts, centralized and decentralized routing infrastructure to securely deliver web users requests to their chosen hosts, and finally an operating system that brings Holochain and the Envoy together on Holoports. Alistair told me that all these foundations are solid now, the routing infrastructure has been in place for a long time, Hollow chains big bugs, including lockups when a host fails to create the app, uh, an app instance for a web user, have been eradicated. The proxy server and gossip protocol are getting some performance boost, and the weird edge cases involving a user closing their browser too soon have been addressed. If you've gotten used to the rapid Hollow port updates over the turn of the new year, like I had, you were probably concerned by the slowdown in the following months. This is, this is very true. Alistair explained the reason for that too. During our previous release cycles, we involved testers as early as possible. This gave the dev teams a lot of insight into what was and wasn't working, but it also created a lot of extra work. Our pre-release testers have been absolutely wonderful. They've been dedicated uh, big chunks of their free time, excuse me, they've dedicated big chunks of their free time to helping us chase down bugs. It's been a lot of work for them, and the communication and coordination have demanded a lot from our small team as well. So, for this release and the previous minor release, the Holo and Holochain dev teams have put everything through much more rigorous testing before it even reaches internal QA. Once it passes, we expect to have a, f a lot fewer 
pre pre release cycles before it goes out to all hollow ports, perhaps none at all, and then the fun begins as all the hollow port owners invite the web invite the web to try out this peer to peer chat app for the first time. We also intend to hire a QA and software delivery manager to streamline this whole process in the future. If you have experience juggling QA, community testers, and deployments, this might be for you. It has a link as well. I would um, copy and paste, if I can remember, copy and paste this article for you guys, this DevPulse article. And then uh, obviously, if this does, um, if, if, this, if this is for you, you can go ahead and switch over. So, it says, uh, I could tell Alistar was relaxed about the future of Hollow development with a solid foundation. He said, developing and delivering new features like Hollow Fuel and the Service Logger app, which tracks resource usage and build app publishers, is going to get easier and faster. So, what are what are Envoy and Chaperone? Envoy is a service that lives on every Hollow port and connects its Hollow chain runtime to the centralized Hollow routing infrastructure and ultimately the web user on the other end. It provisions a HAP instance for a user and asks the user's browser to sign data that Hollow chain is about to store and publish on their behalf. Chaperone, on the other hand, is a library that runs in the user's browser. It handles registration and sign up using cryptographic magic to keep the user's secret password and private key from ever leaving the browser. That means they'll never get stolen in a massive database hack. And Holoport never has the power to do things the user doesn't want. The Holo devs have often found themselves working against the centralized assumptions baked into the web browsers at the HTTP protocol. Many of the challenges came from security restrictions that keep you safe in a centralized world, but they don't make sense in a cryptographically secured P2P world where you're in control of your keys. In the process of meeting these challenges, the Hollow Dev came up with a final design that I think is more user-friendly. Previously, you had to sign in on every new Holo hosted page you visited. Even if you'd been there before or were already signed in to another web tab, uh, another browser tab. Now your session stays active across browser tabs and even after quitting and restarting your web browser. This is nothing special for traditional web apps, so it's great to see it's coming to Hollow. It means that dApps are finally going to start feeling pretty usable. If you like technical details, you might want to read this old blog post about Chaperone and Envoy. It was written when the devs were still deep into creating the debugging these components. Now, what's next? Right now, we're in internal QA testing. We expect to invite the pre-release testers into hosted elemental chat soon, perhaps by the time you even read this. First as users, then as hosts. We don't want to find any big bugs, but we hope we'll discover edge cases that hadn't hit during development. If no critical edges, case edge cases show up, We'll release hosted Elemental Chat to all hosts and invite the web to try it out. Looking forward to seeing you uh, there sometime soon. If you have an invite code, of course. Uh, cover photo by Hang uh, Nino uh, on up, Uplash, obviously, piled up. All right, this is wonderful. This is great. This is probably a uh, probably one of the most important dev pulses uh, that I've read lately. And um, I know many of us have been wondering what in the world has been going on with Holochain. Are there any um, developments? If you're on Twitter, you can you can tell there's a little bit of uh, excitement on Twitter. I'm not going to go through Twitter. I usually try to catch the funny moments in Twitter. This is the moment that probably I'll miss. But anyway, um, I just wanted to give a dev post um, update. I'll just go ahead and keep this video kind of sort of short. Um, you guys have a wonderful day. As I always say, do your own research, do your own